that I played for a guy named Vincent T. Lombardi. And uh, I, I never will forget one comment he made. He said, don't kid yourself how you conduct yourself here on this football field today is somewhat a reflection of how you live the rest of your life. And boy, have I ever found that to be true. I remember going home telling my mother, who is truly is my role model in many ways. And I remember I told my mom, I said, you know, mom, when I grow up, I, I want to be like a businessman, like this. You know, she didn't want to discourage me, but she didn't want to make me feel like it was, would be easy. And maybe that was one of the best things she could have done, was to make me realize I would have to earn this right. It wouldn't be given, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be easy, but if you really want it, pursue it. And uh, that's what I've done all my life. When I was named defensive captain, I said, why, why, why me? I really did convince myself after a while that I brought some leadership, that I brought something to the team that said, hey guys, follow me. And, uh, and there was guys that believed or was willing to follow. We chose the name Closing the Gap. <laughs> And then in choosing that title, I think I was saying, you know, I want to talk about everything in my life from bottom to top in, in a sense of what I was able to achieve. And, and I, I sit here today not saying that I completely closed the gap, but at least <laughs> I got closer to achieving those things that I wanted than maybe I ever could have expected.